Hi, my name is Sören Gebert. I'm working at the Heinrich von Thun Institute in Braunschweig, Germany, and I would like to present you the latest development in open source web processing and cloud computing. I have uh, set up a private cloud using the Ubuntu operation system, the Server Cloud Edition, and the Eucalyptus uh, software for Amazon compatible cloud environment. And I would like to host um, the GIS GRASS modules as web processing services. So we are using the uh, GRASS GIS version 7, the PyWPS uh, web processing server, and the WPS GRASS bridge to glue the PyWPS and GRASS GIS together. As client, uh, we are using the Quantum GIS with a modified version of the WPS plugin. Okay, I will show you a bit of the configuration of my private cloud environment. I'm using two server. So one is hosting the cloud and cluster controller of the Eucalyptus um, cloud environment. The storage controller, which is called uh, Ele uh, Elastic Block Storage in the Amazon cloud. The virus service, which is called um, Simple Storage Service in the Amazon cloud. And the load balancer proxy. The second server is called Node Controller. It has plenty of cores and uh, RAM. And this uh, server is only for computation. It hosts the kernel virtual machines, which run our images. OK. I have uh, created um, an Amazon machine image, which is called uh, WPS Crash Server. I'm using the Merrick Server Ubuntu Cloud Edition. and um, now we can run these instances in our cloud because we don't have any instances running right now. But these uh, very nice plugin names Hybrid Fox for Firefox is able to manage all my clouds, so volume, snapshots, and so on. Okay, let's have a look at my cloud controller, which is called Blockflöte. What kind of available zones are available? Okay, this is the command. And we can start uh, several virtual machines of type 1, M1, small, and so on. Here you can see the number of CPUs which are in use by these images and the amount of uh, random access memory. Okay, let's start six images of M1 large. Switch to the nice hybrid fox. Right click on the machine image and launch instances. Okay, we want uh, M1 large and six images. Okay, launch. Now uh, HybridFox uh, switched to the instances tabular and now we can see um, the Virtual images are booted, the uh, private IP addresses are assigned. Why private IC addre IP addresses? I can show you in the configuration. I'm using a private cloud. The cloud and cluster controller is connected to the World Wide Web with a public interface, but the um, computation uh, node, the node controller, um, is located in a private subnet. Um, so. Uh, the private, private subnet um, is, has a range from 192, 168, 10.0 to 10.100. This, these IP addresses are assigned uh, via DHCP from the cloud controller. Um, because this the server 2, the node controller is private, we need a proxy to um, direct the um, WPS client requests to the server and I'm using the Apache uh, mode proxy balancer for load balancing and the method by busyness. Okay, let's have a look uh, at my nodes. Oh, look at this, they are running. Um, this is a shell which I have opened an, on the uh, node controller and we can have a look how many kernel virtual machines are running and these are six by count and now we can have a we will we'll, we will see um, if the load balancing is working okay um, the web processing services are connected 
uh, via proxy. So the URL includes the um, cloud controller by, named Blockflöte and uh, the web processing service which is uh, reachable via WPS. Okay, let's click it several times and I expect that all my uh, virtual machines are busy right now. And as you can see, they have been busy <laughs> for a short time. Okay, um, the document I've requested um, describes all services which are available in my cloud. And these are obviously uh, GRASS modules. So, let's switch to a much comfortable client called QGIS. Um, I have already loaded some data into QGIS and we can start the WPS client, um, which is called in my, in my case OpenCloudGS. We can have a look at the URL and you will see this is the proxy. Okay, let's connect. And here are, this is the same XML document but uh, converted into something readable. Okay, let's choose a surface interpolation algorithm. We interpolate some points. The column name is height. I'm choosing 4 meters resolution in east, west and north, south. Set this to false and we have only one complex output. Okay, run. And let's have a look at our virtual machine and as you can see there's a single virtual machine working or busy. Well, I have another uh, QGIS client to show you the load balancing and we can set up this one too. Connect and surface interpolation. Oh, the first process finished. Okay, that's fine. Um, the column is height, the resolution 4 meters, and this is set to false. Okay, now uh, let's start both clients uh, simultaneously. I click this one run and this one run again. And now I expect that two virtual machines are getting busy. And here we are, load balancing is working. Yes. Let's have a look at Hybrid Fox. Six instances running, only one image. And now we have to wait till it's finished. And yeah, Booth clients finished. This was the first one, and this is the second one. Let's have a look at the result. Back, back. Okay, we need to change the color table to pseudo color. Okay, well quite nice result and the second client same procedure. Let's choose pseudo color. Okay, and that's the same result as expected. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my little video and see you next time.